All right, so looking at standing guillotine, right? So a couple things that really matter. Um, first of all, the depth of your choke, right? So the deeper we are, the more it's gonna be nasty. So if we're setting in a shallow guillotine and finishing, um, and we're getting the taps consistently, and then all of a sudden we're not getting the taps, the first thing I'd look at is deeper arm, better shoulder seat, all right? So making the grip better with a deeper arm and a, and a more crushing shoulder. So bring that shoulder down, lower, then come up to get the tap. And you see I'm getting a tap much faster. That said, their job is to not allow depth of grip and their job is to keep raising their hips higher. So when we get to that position, we don't get a super deep grip. Our short, they're kind of backing away. We run them to the wall without any pressure on the grip. I stick their butt in place so now their hips can't move and then I hip up in it. All right, so that's all the stuff that um, you do well already. So now let's add. So I get this lock and I'm going uh, arm in, no arm in. it doesn't matter, right? We're finished the standing guillotine. And all of a sudden they're fighting hands and pressuring. My favorite way to deal with this is to lift as they put on their muscles to stop the lift. I turn and slide them So I swing. Um, so I come in on the grip, lift, switch off to the tricep, drop and swing through. And I think that's one of the easiest ways um, to finish. The other thing you can do, if we're really trying to finish standing guillotine, is I'll snap, I'll just squat so their hands have to touch the mat. So I'll squat, get a better seal, and then come in. Or I'll mess with their foot, mess with their foot, and then shoot in for the guillotine. So messing with foot sweeps helps. Sprawling them down before we drive helps. Sealing on the wall helps. If none of that's working, we gotta use our front headlock offense to finish. And the better we are at finishing the front headlock, the more opportunities we're gonna have to choke standing. The better we are at choking standing, the easier it should be to finish. Uh, what we don't wanna do generally, unless we have the absolute kill shot grip, is jump back into a guillotine, right? Uh, still an option, and if you're a good guillotine guy, you gotta use that option sometimes. But generally speaking, we don't wanna do it.